how to refit a connecting rod back into a Range Rover P38 air compress housing. First of all, you position the shaft, the flat on the side of the shaft, pointing directly to the grub screw hole on the side. Make sure that this shaft, this flat, is vertical and pointing this way. The next step is, I usually scribe a, a line on the counterweight which denotes the position of the grub screw hole in relation to the flat on the shaft. The next step is before you remove the pre-assembly tool it's a good idea to make sure this connecting rod fits back on the shaft by hand and is a nice easy fit without using a soft mallet to because when you remove the pre-assembly tool you need to fit this connecting rod in approximately 15 to 20 seconds because the seal tends to tends to relax its shape a little which could make fitting the liner a little more difficult but generally it's, 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 usually, it's usually very good to do. So we've positioned the shaft with the flat on the pointing towards the grub screw. It's now time to remove the pre-assembly tool and fit the connecting rod. With your finger now you can rotate the counterweight with a line, the line coming horizontal until it fits back onto the, sh uh, onto the shaft. You then push it on, you get your grub screw, locate the hole in the counterweight, tighten the grub screw a little, tap, tap the crankshaft a little so you know it's fully home. Then rotate the crankshaft so that the piston seal is at the highest point. You then get your new liner which has a very slight smear of dielectric silicon and you position it at 45 degrees and then you turn it to the, to, turn it to the horizontal and, and make sure that the piston liner is seated in the housing correctly. The next step is to turn the compressor horizontal and it's a good idea to ensure that the, the liner is in the exact center of the housing. There is two witness marks at the bottom and this, the liner should be in the exact center of these marks. Then you need to tighten the grub screw up fully. So holding, holding the liner so it doesn't come out, you rotate the counterweight until the hole appears You then put your Allen key, locate the grub screw in the bottom and make sure the grub screw is tightened onto the shaft. You then replace the housing grub screw As you can see now, your connecting rod is fit, refitted back in the housing and you hold the top of the line and you can rotate, you can rotate the connecting rod and you, as you can see, everything seems fine. You are now ready to reassemble the rest of the compressor, um, which you can check out in my other videos.